been a long time coming with a long way to go I plant this seed in the ground and pray that it grows These days it's so hard, research showed 9-11 was an inside job Shalom, 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 Cable TV, Can TV, and Ellison TV, and Internet, and YouTube. We thank you for welcoming us into your home, and we pray as always it be a blessing to you. Yes. Yeah. As it is to us, and that it will enlighten you and encourage you and lift you up. Yes. And cause you to see. Yahweh wants you to see. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. He wants you to know. Yes. Because the hell of this world has blinded. That's the right. Teach it. Tell like what it. we're doing tonight. The yes. Hallelujah. Praise no right. him. That's right. And they think it's past no Teach good. it. Teach mm. it. But y'all would say it was an everlasting. Everlasting. It's good. It's good. So, it's not a Jewish. No, it's not. Teach it. Tell like it is. Day. No, it's not. Day or mm. day or no, it's Israel not. Day. It's it is Yahweh's holy day. And we always prove that when we celebrate these days. So uh -huh. we go to Leviticus chapter 23. Okay. To substantiate who they, they are. Yes. And, then, and when you read that, then you don't believe what it said, then that brother huh. should say, I pity the food. That's it. You are. Okay. And what, what it does. If you still want to make it be belong to some ethnicity, uh, then I pity the food. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. So in Leviticus chapter 23, starting at verse 1, and it speaks. And Yahweh, admiring to Moshe, admiring. So, it said, And Yahweh spake unto That's Moshe. That's right. Say, Yahweh. Yahweh is saying something to Moshe. Uh huh. And verse 2 says, Admiring to the high band of Israel, and admiring to them concerning the feast of Yahweh. Which you shall proclaim to be Kodash and convocation. Even these are Yahweh's feasts. That's right. Here, you hear what he said. He said, Speak unto the children of Israel uh -huh. and say unto them concerning the feast of Moshe. No. Concerning the feast of Israel. Uh uh. No. Nope. Concerning the feast of the Jews. Never, no. never. Concerning the feast of the Hebrews. Uh uh. Oh. Concerning the feast of. Yahweh. Yes, praise Yahweh. the mighty Yah of Yahs. Which you shall proclaim to be holy convocation. Uh -huh. So Moses was to proclaim them to be holy convocation to the children of Israel. That's it, to the children. You and I are supposed to proclaim them to be holy convocation to the children of Israel and everybody else. That's right. That's right. want to receive it. Uh huh. That's praise it. Yeah. The Yahweh. Yahweh. Praise up. So skip down to chapter, probably verse 27. Verse 27. So. Therefore, at the beginning of Mashiach's rule, uh -huh. if there is to be genuine peace in, and a right spirit among men, Satan has to be bound. That's it. That's it. That's the only way. That's it. And it's going to happen. Yes, it will. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yep. So let's look yep. at uh, chapter 23 and verse 27 and 8. And it reads. Awesome. I mean, 26, uh, 26, 27, 28. 23, 26, 27, and 28. 23. Chapter 23, verse 26, and 27, and 28. Okay. 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 Right. And read. And Yahweh and mine to Moshe, and mine. Also on the tenth yam of this, of this seventh month, there shall be a yam of atonement. It shall be a codex convocation unto you. You shall you shall afflict your nephews and offering and offering made by fire unto Yahweh. And you shall do no work in that same young. For it is the day of atonement to make an atonement for for you you before Yahweh, your Elohim. That's good. So here we got the instruction. He said. Again, we're getting we're getting information that Yahweh is telling Moshe to uh -huh. tell the people. So he say, and Yahweh spake unto Moshe, saying, yes. also on the tenth day of the seventh month, mm -hmm. there shall be an atonement mm -hmm. 
it shall be a holy convocation unto you. Uh-huh. And you shall afflict your body. Yeah, that's afflict right. your nephews. That's yeah. right. And often and often made by fire to Yahweh. Uh-huh. And you don't want to do no work from the time this holy convocation started tonight uh -huh. until it ends tomorrow night. Okay. No work. No work. Yes, no sir. eating, no drinking. That's right. All right. That's all right. Thus said Yahweh. Now what does say? That's Yahweh. right. Thus says Yahweh. Yeah, what does say Yahweh. Uh -huh. That's how it's yeah. supposed to be done. That's, That's right. right. So people want to do their own way. They have uh -huh. their own conception about this. But, you it's know, wrong. 12 hours yeah. then. We can eat. That's not a 24 hours. No, it's not. Teach it tell like it is. No, it's not. So, we want to have some more information on this. We're going to go into Leviticus chapter 16. A very clear indication of a real meaning of, a, of the atonement is okay. given in Leviticus. Okay. 16. Okay. Here we find an Old Testament rit 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 ritual whereas two goats were to be presented before the high queen in Israel. Okay. Casting lots was apparent to Yahweh to decide a, to decide a matter. So Aharon was to cast lots to find what, what, which of these goats represented Yahweh. Okay. Which of these goats represent Yeshua. Okay. One was to represent Yeshua, the hell of Israel, who later emptied himself and became our Savior. That's right. Praise Yahweh. Yes, later he did. Later gave up his deity and became a man and came to be our Savior. Yes. Yeah. All right. Praise Yahweh. Praise so, Yahweh. Let's read uh, verse 8 of the 16th chapter. Got it read. And Aaron shall cast lots upon the two goats, one lot for Yahweh and the other lot for the scapegoat. So it's very clear here. So it's it's, it's not this. It's just a distinction between the two goats. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A very clear distinction between these goats. There is a teaching that both goats represent Yeshua, which is I can't really find. It. But this other goat represent the person in 2 Corinthians, I think it's 2 Corinthians 10.4. Mm -hmm. Let's go there, 2 Corinthians 10.4. Mm -hmm. This is what this other goat represented. 10.4. 2 Corinthians 10.4. This is who this goat represents. Mm -hmm. so, so you will know this from now on. Yes. Okay, 10 and 4, I said. You got it? And what do it say? For the weapons of our warfare are not come, but mighty through Elohim, to the pulling down of coag hose. Wrong word, wrong chapter. It's 10 and 4, I know that. First Corinthians 10 and 4. First Corinthians 10 and 4. Uh, I know it's correct. Ten and four, ten and four. Let me find it. Ten and four, ten and four, ten and four. Let's get it. I might find it right now, but the God of the, this other group represents Satan. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it? Mm -hmm. It represents Satan. Sure, you're right. The other group was to represent Azal, which is a term, as many Hebrew reference explain. For the adversary. Okay. Or Satan. That's it. Teach or the it. devil. That's it. Yeah. This is what it represents. Mm -hmm. So this goat represent that the goat that represents Yahweh was to die. The goat that represents Yahweh was to die. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yahweh told Aharon to offer it as a sin offer. But the goat in, in verse 9 of 16. He's talking representing somebody else. Just as Yeshua HaMashiach gave his life 
for our sin, but regarded, but regarding the adversary goat or the adversary goat, Yahweh did what? Commanded Aaron to lay both his hands on the head of that goat. Lay both his hands on the head of that goat. Okay. And confess over it all the iniquities of the children of Israel and all the transgression concerning all the sins. Put them up on the head of the goat and shall send it away unto the wilderness. But we find the willing when when Yahweh when Yeshua went into willing, who was there? A man in there. Hasatan. Hasatan. Yep. And bind and bind that devil. Okay? Yeah, that's right. He led into the willing by the hand of a suitable man or a fit man. Mm -hmm. The goat shall bear. The goat gonna bear what? The sins and the iniquity and the un on uh, inhabitable in an uh, in, in unhabitable land, right? Yeah, yeah. And he shall release that goat in the wilderness. When we get to the person, we're gonna read that. But this goat symbolized Satan, yes, Asael, mean adversary. Okay. Or Satan the devil. Yeah, that's it. Plain and simple. So, so really, when the man led him, it was like leading the. Satan into the wilderness. Yeah, yeah. Into a desolate land. In other words, uh, to die. Like we know when Yeshua come back, he's going to be bound for the thousand years. So in other words, he's going to be out of the way. Yeah, yeah. So when Aaron did, it was a symbol of him being taken out of the way. That's right. Of Satan being taken out of the way. Yeah. That's what that other goat represents. Okay. Now, you may have issue with that but that's the way I see it that's right right I pray that you see it as well hopefully oh first uh, Leviticus 16 and 9 where I will talk about these are the things that are going to happen we're going to read it verbatim here in 16 and 9 and when you get it read and our Aaron shall bring the goat upon which Yahweh locked Filled and offer him for a hot kata offering. So he said, Aaron shall bring the goat upon which Yahweh Lot fell and offer him for a sin offering. What well, we should offer up for a sin offering. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Verse 10 said, But the goat on which the Lot fell to, the, to be the scapegoat shall be presented. Kaya before Yahweh to make a kippah with him to let him go for a scapegoat into the wilderness. So, so Satan escaped for, for a moment, okay? It seemed like he escaped. And then Lake of Fire, he's going to be there. And he's going to be like he escaped again. He's going to get out, but that's it. Huh? Mm -hmm. But both go can't represent Yeshua. Right. That's right. No, they don't. Someone says that. Have to have a dead goat and a live goat. Have to have a dead Yeshua and a live Yeshua. Well, he died and he was resurrected. That's right. This goat died and wasn't resurrected. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. So that was just like the end of Satan. This is like dealing with the end of Satan. He's no more in the way. This that's is, right. It's finished. That's you know, right. Praise the mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is finished. It's letting us know it's finished. It's going to be a finish. It's going to be an end. But Yahweh is already finished. But yeah. But it has to play out until the time. That's right. Teach it tell like it is. That's, That's right. right. In Yahweh's eyes, it's already it is, finished. It is done. It's already been done. It's done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise up. So this is what occurred with those two goats, right? Yeah. All right. So he went into the wilderness. We're seeing that, he, that the man took him into the wilderness, right? Uh-huh. So... Let's skip down to verse 21 and 2. And it reads, And Aaron shall lay both his hands upon the head of the high Kaya goat, and confess over him all the iniquities of the high band of Israel, 
all their transgressions and all their kata, putting them upon the head of the goat. It says, send them away by the hand of a fit Adam into the wilderness. Amen. Fit man had to take him and lead him into the wilderness. Uh -huh. right. yeah. So this fit man had to lead him into the wilderness. So that goat symbolized Satan. Okay. Into the wilderness. That's right. Pound them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, to so the man that led him to the wilderness, he had to come back and bathe himself. Okay. And his clothes. Because it was symbolically that he had been uh, come into direct contact with very uh, uh, embalmable things. That's right. In, in, the, in the embodiment, in the embod very embodiment of evil. He had yeah. embodied yeah. That's right. yeah, yeah, he was. Of evil. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Of yeah. 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 Of the devil. So then he had to yeah. be cleansed. That's right. We had to get. But the goat is in the world. That's right. And the goat died in the world. But that summarizes in Satan being captured to the lake of fire. That's right. He is in. And no longer being a pest. No longer, no more. That's the end of his reign. That's it. In this world. He may be reigning in the lake of fire, but he won't be reigning <laughs> with the humans that right. left. Yeah. Right. Okay, he might be reigning over them one that followed him, but he's not going to be in this world and terrorizing. That's right, causing us any more problems. No, no more problems. None. For us, from him. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. All right, let's, uh, well, he was led far away. Yeah. Yeah. Well, where he, or Satan, symbolized, could not hurt or the sea. That's right. Yahweh. Hallelujah. Praise him. That's right. That's similar of going in the wilderness. Yeah, symbolic. Away from people. That's right. We cannot deceive Yahweh's people no more. No Praise more. Man. Praise him. So when he throw it in the bottom of the pit, he can't deceive Yahweh. No, he cannot. No That's the end. That is it. That's the end of his reign. That's the end of his terror. That's it. Teach right. it tell right. like it is. Yeah. Praise the mighty Yah. Mm -hmm. He has been used. Used. Uh, uh, Satan has been used to separating uh, Satan separate Yahweh's people from Yahweh. Yes, he, yes, he tries. That's, yes, that's, he his, that's his job. That right? is it. That's his only job. That's what his job was to separate Satan. I mean, separate Satan from Yahweh's people. So Yahweh had to separate yep. Satan from yep. Yahweh. That's right. Put him out of the way. That's right. Said Put enough. him in the wilderness. Right? Enough is enough. So that's why he's led in the wilderness. He's the adversary. The adversary go into the wilderness. Uh -huh. Far away, far removed from Yahweh's people. Uh -huh. Far removed from where he can deceive them anymore. That's right. Amen. So they ain't going to be out there in the wilderness. They had been out there, but they ain't going <laughs> out there no more. That's right. Not be turning. So in the world that we live in, we're in the world. That's it. Teach it to like it is. That's, That's it. it. That's it. That's it. Now we receive his plan of yeah. salvation. We're no longer in the world. That's right. Praise be so, Yahweh. Yeah. Yeah. Spiritually, Satan is out of our way. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Spiritually, yeah. Yes. yes. So therefore, we should not be overcome by him. No, we shouldn't. We know the wiles. The scriptures say we know the wiles. That's right. Right. That's right. He has shown them to us. So if we know him. We should not be subdued by no, him, No, you right? should. You should. So, let's skip down to verse 29. And it reads, And this shall be the statute forever unto you, that in the seventh month, on the tenth yom of the month, you shall afflict your nephews to do no work at all, whether it be one of your own country or a stranger that sojourneth among you. So, no matter who it is. No matter who it is, it's for all of us. For all people. This is a statue for ever. So Israel was given the charge to what? Teach other people about Yahweh's holy days. Uh -huh. they didn't do it. Right. And they didn't do it. But yep. he's saying, you know, what it's supposed to be, right? It's a statue yeah. for ever. That's yeah. right. No work at all. Mm -hmm. On this day, verse 30, for on that young. 
shall the high coin make a kippah for you to cleanse you that you may be clean from all your katahs before Yahweh. So all of us have to remember, should remember this because this is the day it made us give us the opportunity yes. to be clean. Yes, from our transgression and yes. from our sins and yes. from our iniquities. Yes, yes. And give us by being cleansed. Now we can be yes. connected yes. with Yahweh. Yes. Again. yes, yes, yes. Reconnected through the blood of Yeshua. Yes. That's it. Praise God. Through the blood of Yeshua. Yes. We are yes. being cleansed yes. so we, we can be yes. connected. Yes. With That's right. Yahweh Reconnected. Again. Praise our Yahweh. Praise our Yahweh. On God. this young shell, the Kohen make an atonement for you to cleanse you. Uh -huh. That you may be clean, clean. from all of your oh. sins before Yahweh. So you've been oh. clean before all of your sins. Before yes. Yahweh. Don't think that. When you go back, that's you got cleansed. Uh -huh. But now you go and sin some more. You gotta be cleansed. That's again. right. That's, that's, that's right. Atonement yeah. have to be made some more. That's right. But otherwise, when we keep that's doing that, we're killing Yeshua first. Uh -huh. Okay. And that time, during that period of time in the Old Testament, then they would come back with some more goats. Okay. Yep. Yep. And make an atonement. So every year that Aharon would go behind the veil with that goat, he make an atonement for himself and for the people. Yeah. Because he was guilty too. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when when this ceremony to be carried out, this ceremony had to be carried out. Yeah. This shall be a statue forever. 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 It said forever, right? That's it. Amen. Right. The real spiritual meaning, this have a new testament believers. Uh-huh. Have a meaning for the New Testament believers because now they got access to the throne. That's they got it. Access to relate and talk to Yahweh. That's right. That's right. Yeshua. That's That's right. They've been drafted in. Yeah. If this had not happened, then it wouldn't be no New Testament. No, that's right. Teach it right. like it is. Yeah. If this hadn't happened, this happened, and then when Yeshua came and did it, actually became that lamb yeah. or that goat. That's right. Yeah. So therefore, if he had not did it, then we wouldn't have this day. This would be wouldn't be nothing to be talked about. We probably not might, might, might not have mm -hmm. been here then. Okay. Mm -hmm. But right. we have this opportunity to call uh -huh. of yeah. the atonement. So it yes. has great meaning to the people in the New Testament. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. But they. Yeah. Uh, kind of like refuse of the New Testament believers for how could they inclined be inclined to what we're doing today they were blinded yeah the yeah. New Testament people are blind yes they are teach it tell like it is even to the meaning of the first group yep, that's right which is the Messiah uh -huh. when he comes to the earth when he came to the earth and died. That's right. That's the first goal. Uh huh. The Messiah. Yes, it is. The first goal was rather than the Messiah. Teach it tell like it is. Come to the earth and do what? Die. That's, That's right. Not go to the wilderness, but come to the earth and die. Uh huh. What he died for? For but sin. Us. That's right. Amen. He died for sin. Yep. For us. Yep. Shows that this is. Exactly what happened. It is. When Hamashiach returned, Yeshua returned as King of Kings. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do when he returns as King of Kings? Go rule and reign, right? Yeah. yeah. Look at Revelation chapter 19. Forever. Yeah, Revelation chapter 19. Revelation chapter 19. Revelation chapter 19. Revelation chapter 19. And 19 and 11. 19 and 11. You got it read. And I saw Shemayan open, and behold, a white heart. And he that set up a hand was Karar em, Eminah and Emmet. And in Sadaka he dug Safat and make war. It's all right. So 
So he's seeing something, right? Mm -hmm. What is he seeing? What is he seeing? What is he seeing? He's seeing a white horse. Is somebody sitting on the white horse? Yeah. Yes. yeah. He's sitting on the white horse. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure sitting on the white horse. Yeah. yeah. What are you sitting on the white horse for? To, to make war. To, right. to make war, right? Yes. yes. Right. Against what? The enemy, right? Yes. Right. Had to judge and make war. Yeah. Judge and to make war. So he's coming back to judge. Why? He, he gave his life, so now he's able to come back and do this. That's right. right. Full authority. So that's why he got the authority, because he gave yeah. his life. Yeah. He came and did what he was uh, prophesied for him to do, right? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Read 11 again. And I saw Shemaiah open, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him with Karah, Eminah, and Emmet. And in his Sadakai he dug Shaphat and make war. Shaphat and make war. war. Mm -hmm. He's coming to make war. Yeah. He's not coming back like he did the first time, right? No, he's not. Verse right. 12 says. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a shim written that no other yada but he himself. No man knew but himself. No man knew but himself. No man. So he coming, you see he's not coming as a lamp. Uh -uh, not no gentle lamp. His lamb. eyes were as a flame of fire. Yeah. Right, right. And his head was... Oh, his head was what? Many, many crowns. Many crowns. Not one. Many crowns. And he had in Shem written, no man knew but he himself. Uh -huh. And he was clothed with a vessel dipped in blood. Uh -huh. And his Shem is Karab, the Dabab Yahweh. Okay. Mm -hmm. All this is made for it was proper there in the Old Testament led up to what is happening here. For him to do this, come and get and die for us, uh -huh. and be able to come back and do this, what he's saying, come That's back right. the second time, and sure reveal will. what he's talking about. And it reads, And the army which were in Shemar followed Yeshua upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. So, Praise the mighty God. So he's bringing the army with him. Right. Prayerfully, you and I are going to be a part of that army. Yeah. That's Hallelujah. right. That's right. Hallelujah. And we continue to observe and obey what he calls yes. out to do. Right? That's right. Praise the mighty God. That's right. He calls us out to do a work for him. Yes, he did. By being assembled at night, we're doing a work yes, for him. Yes, we are. Praise be to Yahweh. Small groups all around the world is yes. all out and they're doing his work this this night part of the Day of Atonement. Uh-huh, uh-huh. They, uh -huh. they are doing his work. Yes, we are. Right. So, we continue to do his work. We fall asleep doing his work. That's right. We guarantee he's going to be in his army. That's right. Keep okay. must yeah. press on. Right. Praise God for Yahweh. Praise God. Yeah. Read. And out of his mouth grow up a sharp sword, that with it he shall smite the high goee, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and he shall threaten the yain press of the fierceness and wrath of Elohim. Shaddai. Well, you see what he's yeah. going to do? So we just with the army is with him, not really going to have to do anything. They just with him. <laughs> He's doing everything. You just <laughs> along with the right. Yeah. The right. Yeah. We just stand there. It's like Israel, they went in the battle, but they were just along for the right. <laughs> they battle being fought by Yahweh. So now it's still being fought by him, right? Uh -huh. And out of his mouth goes a sharp two-edged sword that, that with it, he should smite the nations. Yeah. He shall rule them with a rod of iron. Yes, and he shall tread the Yahim press of the fierceness and wrath of El Shaddai. Yeah. Or the mighty Yah. Yeah, that's right. And, and he have on his vessel and on his thigh a shim written, Malik of Malik. And Master of Masters. That's right. He's the one. He's the one. That's the one you're yeah. talking about? The yeah. That's the one the you're going to get. Yeah. Yeah. And? And I saw a mother king standing in the, in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, Amari, to all the father that fly in the midst of Shemai, come, 
gather yourself together unto the supper of, of the great Elohim. And this is what's going to happen. All the fowls of the air are going to have a supper. That's right. A flesh. Right. Of people who have not joined his army. Uh -huh. People who have not followed his law, statutes, and precepts. People who have not come to know him and to reverence him and to lead other people. To That's him. right. Teach and tell it like it their is. Faith, okay? Yes, it is. Thus says Yahweh. So, if you want that, then don't accept the atonement. But if you don't want that, accept the atonement. That's right. That's the best remedy that I have. That's it. That is the best of Yahweh. So, that you may eat flesh of kings uh -huh. and beasts and the flesh of captains and the flesh of mighty men uh -huh. and the flesh of horses. And of them that sit on them. Wow. And the flesh of all oh. men, both free and bond, huh. both small and great. Huh. No difference. No difference. You're not with Yahweh. That means you with the army, so you're not, you're not, you, this is not happening to you because you with the army that's following them, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, right? Why? Because you accepted their tongue. Yes. You afflicted your body like he told yes, you. Yes, yes. You would stain yourself from yes, the water for 24 hours. That's all he asked. That's all he asked. One day. That's one day. That's all. One 24 hour period. Sure, you care. Even though he did it for you. That's right. He only asked you one time. One, one, one day. Once you were trying to get super holy, he did 40 days. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. He did 40, 12 hours. Day. Right. And they did 40 days because right. they lacked another 12 right. hours. That's right. They need another 40, 12 hours to go. Right. Okay. So, we're talking realistic here. Really. That's really. right. Okay, but all of this is possible for you and I to avoid all of this. Uh, because yeah, we yeah. Observe the day of atonement. That's right. We, uh, we, we received his shed. That's right. right. We, we received him taking the sins of the world up on himself. Uh huh. The sins of us before we even came to be. That's right. Before we even came into being. That's right. Praise our Yahweh for the bond Yahshua. Praise our Yahweh. Praise him. Yahweh. Praise him. And it reads And I saw the beast and our medics of, of the high air and the armies get together to make war against Yeshua that sat on the earth and against Yeshua's army. So they won a battle, so this is what's going to happen. Uh-huh, fools. You read? And the beast was taken, <laughs> was taken and with him the false Navi that wrought miracles before him and with which he deceived them see the mark of the beast and them that shocked his image. These both were cast Kaya into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone. So this is what happened to those people. Everybody that don't receive Yahweh's plan. Everybody, Everybody don't follow Everybody. the things that he's putting in. Uh -huh. Well, we're not offering up a burnt offering, but we're offering, offering up sacrifices of praise. Uh, we're no, praises and I now. give you all. We're remembering what yes. has happened. Mm -hmm. Remember what happened to the bulls yeah. with the goats. Yeah. But also remember what happened to Yeshua. That's right. But therefore, Yeshua came and conquered by his atonement, he came and conquered and took Satan out of the picture. That's right. Wiped him out. Yeah. Took him out of the picture. Yeah, that's right. Gave you the opportunity. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's still around, but once you come under protection of Yahweh and Yeshua, he's out of the picture. He's out of the picture. He's nothing to us. But he's trying to get back in the picture. Uh -huh. Trying to make you think that he's still in the picture. Right, right. But you got to know when you read Yahweh's word that he's out of the picture. That's yes, it. He's out of there. He's trying to get back in. Uh huh. He can only get back in if you let if him. If you allow him now. If you allow him. If you give up that atonement. Yeah. Then you let him come back That's in. That's it. If you give up what Yahweh calls you to do, uh -huh. then he can get back in. That's the only way. If you give it up. If you listen to the world and you don't want That's to right. uh, be uh, uh, different. Right, that's it. We're different. Then you can give up the atonement. That's right. We're peculiar, Am. You can you can wipe out what he's done for you mm -hmm. and get yourself right back in yes, the state that you yes, are. Yes, you will. We're in a worse state. For the atonement he made for you, right? Yeah, and be in a worse state. All right. Next verse says, 
and the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, with which sword proceeded out of his mouth, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh. They were yep. filled with their flesh. Why? Because they wasn't they didn't do it. So the mighty angel appeared to remove Satan. So a mighty angel came. So this is the next chapter where this mighty angel okay. came. To yeah. remove Satan mm -hmm. out of the way. Uh huh. Uh huh. So the beast and the false prophet already been moved out. Yeah, of the way. that's it. That's right. it. So this is like leading up to the time where there's no sin gonna be in the world. No way. more. Because of the atonement that Yahshua made for us. Praise our Yahshua. Praise um. All right. So chapter twenty of this book says, verse one says. And I saw a Malachim come down from Shemai, having a key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And a great chain in his hand. What he don't do with the chain? Huh. Read. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil, and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. He bound him a thousand years, right? Yeah. All right. So during that thousand years, only going to be what? Truth. That's it. Don't have no no influence of Satan. No, be nowhere around. None. So you probably think that I would like to be in that. I like to be be in that day rather than the day that I'm in that <laughs> I'm bombarded by television all the time. But but you got the Ruach Adashi. That's it. Right. Tell them, teach it like teach it. Tell like the Ruach Adashi, and you even though you're bombarded by television all the time. You don't have to be, you don't have to yield. That's right. right. That's right. Because you got the power. That's right. He gave yeah. us the power. You, know you got the power. Yeah. You don't, you don't, you don't give it. No, you yeah. don't use you it. You don't know you got the power. Yeah, you don't give it. That's it. Can't use right. what you don't know you have. But that's what his job is to see you and to believe that that's you it. don't have the power. We have. It was given but to you us. you got to know that you got the power. You must know. You, you must know. Because. Yeah. He is what? A deceiver. That's it. That's it. That's and the his job. Deceivers do what? Deceive. Try to deceive you. They lie to you. All the time. Yeah. All the time they lie to you. All the time. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. And you are uh, not uh, paying attention to what Yahweh has done for you, then he will bamboozle you and take you away. But remember, he made an atonement for you. Yes, he has. Is it already been made? Is it already been made? That's right. Just accept it. Accept it. Because this mighty angel came down. That was appointed. Uh -huh. To move Satan. That's right. And they hold on the dragon. Yeah. The serpent. Uh huh. The old devil. That's right. Who is the devil inside? That's right. right. Yeah. And bound him a thousand years. So during this thousand years. You got nothing but righteousness. Nothing. And you and I are going to be privileged to be there during that time. Right, yeah, right. Are. That's right. So during that time, we'll be ruling and reigning with you. Yes, yes. So everybody during that thousand years is not going to be ruling and reigning. Teach it to us like it is. That's going to be during that thousand years, you and I are most likely going to be teaching those people yes. who have not. That's right. That's it. So all we have to do is teach them the truth. And that's it. They don't have to worry about the other part. Uh huh. So even though we know after that thousand years, so our time gonna be loose. Uh huh. And all this teaching was done without no influence from Satan. Right. Then it's still gonna be a lot of people trying to sin again. That's it. Teach it just like it is. It is written. It don't seem that that to be possible, right? Huh. right. It don't seem like right. sin had it. Uh, uh, that people have that greater appetite for sin. Huh. To not to want to do what Yahweh said. Huh. After all he's done for them. Huh. It doesn't seem right. like that. But yeah. And what, what do we read in 20? What verse 3 read? 1 and 2. Alright, 3 says, And cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him. That he should deceive the high glory no more until the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loose a little season. Should be fulfilled. Will be fulfilled. Yeah, will be. Yeah. 
He put that when Yahweh said it, it will be you know filled. It should right. be filled. Uh, it, it is That's done. Like you're leaving right. a doubt there. Ain't That's no doubt. why it is done. Yes, it is. Yes. It will be. Yes, it will. Right. Yes, it will. It will be fulfilled. Right. Okay. Praise Abba Yahweh. Praise Abba. Um, so it will be fulfilled. Yes, it will. Mm -hmm. Clearly, yes. Satan, the uh, what I call his name, the adversary, uh -huh. is cut off. Yeah. From humanity. Yeah. So he is unable to deceive mankind during this 1,000 year reign of Yeshua. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you got this here to notice the scriptures tell that I'm giving you a like a commentary there, right? Okay. okay. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. To illustrate to you more. Mm -hmm. That that if that's why humanity will quickly become at one. Yes. Some people want to make that like an atonement. <laughs> at one with Yahweh's ways. No more satanic, satanic influence. There is a way during this glorious reign of Yeshua. They shall not pray, no, nor kill in this place. Be, nothing gonna be no killing this. I morning. know, Amen to that. What, what a wonderful. What a, that's one. No more rheumatism. Amen. Not more Nothing. 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 Nothing to Nothing. interfere with you. And it's hard time with trying to interfere with right. you. Right. So, yeah. His influence is out. So when you when your body say you got a headache, that's an influence of Satan. That's right. Teach yeah. to tell out yeah. your yeah. body yeah. that, and then your body tell you that uh -huh. you receive it, and you confess that's it. That's right. You have a headache. Yeah, you do. Okay. Do that. It shall not hurt nor destroy in my holy mouth. So okay. be in the holy mouth of Yahweh. Don't be no hurt and killing it. Not then. For the earth shall be full of the knowledge of Yahweh. Okay. As the water covers the sea. Uh -huh. Let's see what Brother Isaiah said, uh, Yeshayah chapter 11. What did he say about this? All this ill because of the atonement of Yahweh. So that made this, all this was happening here was made possible for Yeshua emptied himself out and became a human being. Yes, he did. And come down here and took the took dominion back to the right. Took it back from that evil one. To give you an opportunity yes. to, to be reunited with Yahweh again. That's right. Yeah. Praise His great holiness. Praise His Praise you. Chapter 11, verse 9 of Yeshua says, They should not hurt nor destroy in all my Kodash mountain, for the high air shall be full of Yada of Yahweh, and the high Mayans cover the sea. We just read that where? In Revelation, right? Yep. Now we're reading again. Here it's been prophesied over here and over here. Uh -huh. That's right. That's right. It's all made possible for by the, the obedience of those who followed the That's it. The law that was set up by Yahweh That's and it. Moshe and kept offering up them bulls and goats until the real lamb came. That's right. Okay. Well here it's telling us what uh, was going to happen before we got to Revelation. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now we're reading again. We read it in Revelation. Now we're reading him. So it's confirmed. That's Our right. Revelation confirmed what we're reading him. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Since we read Revelation first. That's right. And we're reading this, but Revelation is confirming what we yes, read. Yes, it is. Here. Yes, it is. Read verse 9 again. They shall, they shall not hurt nor destroy in all my Kodash mountain. For the high air shall be full with Yada of Yahweh, as the high Mamines covered the, the sea. And they shall not hurt nor destroy in all my Kadash mountain. For the Eric shall be full of Yada. Yeah. Of Yahweh. It's full of the Yada of Yahweh. That's it, Yahweh. Or Yeshua. Uh-huh. As the water covered the sea. Right. So that's a lot of water. Yes. You see a lot of water. Yes, right? it does. Right. So there's going to be a lot of knowledge. Yes. A lot of knowledge. Yes. And it's all good. All good. All, yeah. all good knowledge. All no. Good. Satan knowledge. No, nah, no. Nah. All his knowledge. Right. No, Satan no distortion. Knowledge. None. Whatsoever. 
Praise the mighty Yah. Praise Hallelujah. Shaddai Yah. All that he's doing and he's making known to us. Hallelujah. 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 Praise him. Hallelujah. Yahweh. Let's see something else that the mighty Yeshua Yah say. Look at chapter 25. So with Satan broadcast system shut down, so his broadcast uh -huh. system will be shut down. Uh -huh. And the blindness of humanity removed. Man can indeed, indeed. at one with Yahweh. Yes. Unity. Doing this part. So you have no so those people that go to see about the thousand year you just you, you can't imagine what was going on what's going on in Somehow the world. Right. Get have no influence, no evil influence, and then the evil influence be turned loose. In other words, during that thousand years, they must their mind must have been still focused back huh. on his time. Huh. They just they love mess. Like said, they love evil. They love mess. Yeah. Yeah. So therefore, even though know, during this time, he's not gonna be able to broadcast none of his evil stuff. That's right. But yet when he be removed. He's going to see the, see the world again. Those that are in the world, those who were left, those human beings that were left, that wasn't from all those nations, that going to be there being taught that thousand years, yet they going to be the sea. Uh huh. I think it said like the sands of the sea. It's written, uh, thus yeah. says Yahweh. Yeah. Yeah. So there's going to be a lot of, a lot of people. Uh huh. It's hard to, to swallow, but hey, the scripture says it, so therefore yeah. we got to yeah. go with it. That's it. Yeah. Okay, it's chapter 25, verse 7 and 8 of this yah, yah And it reads, And he should, and he will destroy it in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all him, and, and the veil that is spread over all go in. He will swallow up my vet in victory. My, my master, Yeshua, will wipe away tears from off all faces and rebuke of his am shall he take away from off all the high air. For Yahweh have spoken the mighty. Yahweh has spoken and Yahweh has yeah. said it. Yep. And Yahweh has said that's what he will do, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. In verse 6, it's talking about it again. He said, In this mountain shall Yahweh of Sabbath make unto all people a feast. A feast. A yep. fat thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. A feast of what? Yahin. No, no, no. That can't be right. <laughs> it can't be That's right. That's what does says Yahweh. Uh, On what? On the leaves. Mm -hmm. A of fat what? thing full of marl. Of Yahin's on the leaves of well refined. Okay. He said well it twice. Refined. So it's the best. The best of right. Yahweh. Well refined. And then we read verse 7, and he shall destroy in this mountain the face of what? Covering. covering. Those who cover it. That's right. What? Destroy. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering uh -huh. cast over all people. All the well, we've been, well, our face been covered with blinded. That's you know, right. That's right. That veil is, yeah, and, and the veil. Right. And the veil. That covering is cast away. Yeah. So, and part has been cast away on us because now we know about the whole That's thing. right. That's right. We didn't know about it before. We knew about Easter, Christmas, and some other stuff. Uh huh. We did have no. Had no standing with Yahweh. Nothing with Yahweh. So therefore, that covering was over. Yes, it was. Because this thing had been broadcast to our parents uh -huh. by Satan that these are things relevant to Yahweh. Uh huh. But they wasn't relevant. No, they were not. No, they are not. So now the covering has been moved from yes, our Yes, it face. has. They've been lifted. The blindness has been moved. Yes, from they our have. Face. Praise the Lord. Have been Falling off of yes, our eyes. Yes, yes, we can see clearly now. Praise Yahweh. Hallelujah. It's all right. Because of the atonement. Yes. Because we receive the atonement. Yeah. Because we 
keep the abdomen. That's why we see we, because we believe that. Flicked our body when he told us yes. to flick our body. Right. When he tells us to flick our body, we flick our That's body. That's right. Amen. Right. And when we don't tell us, we can still afflict our yeah, body you can. to get closer to him. That's right. Praise the mighty Yah. Sure when we afflict our Praise body, the mighty Yah. That we're depending on him. Totally That's it. Totally. Right. You're not depending on water and food to nourish our not body. Nothing. 24 hours. Our medicine. Nothing. But Yah. We are Totally turning ourselves over to Yahweh in that's his name. Totally. That's right. Which we should be all the time. That's but right. We're in his bosom. So on this particular day, we are in his hand totally. Yes, we are. Or at least we pose to be. Yeah, huh? Right? Uh -huh. Praise our Yahweh. Praise him. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering that casts over all people and the veil that spread over. All nations. Yeah. The veil and the covering is going to be moved. That's right. Mm -hmm. For everybody. And, those and he will what? Swallow up, mark that in victory. And my master Yeshua will wipe away tears from off all faces that the rebuke of his answer be take away from off all the higher for Yahweh have admired it. He has admired it. He has said it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when we read in. Uh, Hosea 13 and 14, we're not going now, and 1 Corinthians 15 and 54, this is talking about the same thing that we just read here in verse 8, Okay. as well as uh, Revelation 20 and 14. All these are lining up together, praise our way out. Uh, but this is a good thing for you and I to Yes know. it is, it's a must. It's a must if you're going to be a believer. Yeah, it's a must. So in Acts chapter... I want to read that, or it seems like that was a person in the New Testament doing this. Acts chapter 27. 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 27 and let's read uh, I know 27 7 27 9 Acts 27 9 and it reads now when much time was spent and the selling was now dangerous because the fast was now already passed so he admonished them. So it seemed like this, he was doing this, or this had been done, or he was doing it on the sea. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Seemed like this was happening, right? Uh huh. Praise our way out. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So, therefore, we don't want to be disobedient. That's it. Because of what's been paid for us, we don't want to have this on our mind. We don't want these things to enter into our mind. Uh uh Because it's not good to be in our mind. No, it's not. These things are not to be in our mind. No, they shouldn't. We are being operated. So we see that the adversary and the goat would represent the adversary. Yeah. The sin will transfer it back on to the person who originated sin. That's, That's right. Teach it, tell it like it is. That goat that was sent into the wilderness representing the adversary who orchestrated yes, sin. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Praise. That's right. Praise All up. the sins are put up on him. Yeah. Uh-huh. But Yeshua died for all the sins. Yeah. That's right. But all the sins were put up on him. Just yeah. like it said, if we don't warn the person he died in his sin, it's going to be quiet of us. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because we didn't want it. That's right. Yeah. That this could happen to him. Because yeah. we knew. And they were going this way and we didn't want them. So therefore, they can't. It's going to be on you because they don't know. Mm -hmm. If somebody had to warn us, if they had to warn us, then we couldn't know, right? Right, right. Yeah. right. Now right. we do know, yeah. right? Yeah. Right. But once you know, then you can do better. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. So, Therefore, Yahweh wants us to always be in the know. Yes, He does. 
So, Azel, that called Azel in the Hebrew means the goat of departure. Okay. This goat likely represents Satan. All that goat <laughs> represents Satan. That's right. You know, likely, likely it, did, it does. Yeah. Who is led away unto the wilderness. He led away into the wilderness. Then we know what happened to him, right? Uh huh. When we read 16, uh, Leviticus 16 9, he said, The sin offering, the goat that represented Yeshua, who was what? Sacrificed uh -huh. for sin. Yeah. Who was sacrificed for sin. Uh -huh. I led into the wilderness. That's for right. Sacrificed for the sins of the world. Yeah, that's right. For us. Yeah, the people that are in the world. Uh huh. Yeah. Opportunity to be reunited with Yahweh. With Abba Yahweh. Have access to go before the throne of grace boldly. Yes. Because now they have accepted oh. his way. Uh huh. His law. Great. The yeah. mighty Yah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Without seven his laws and precepts, you cannot go. You cannot go before the throne of grace. No, you holy. cannot. What you going there for? <laughs> you ain't did that. Well, hey, you ain't gonna hear you. So, Shaul was inspired to write, and he was inspired to write. He was inspired to write by Yahweh. And That's right. And you have, and you, he had made a lie. You and I, he has made yes, a lie. Yes, he has. He has quickened us. Who we were. Dead in our trust yes, as we were. When we walk what? According to this world. To this age. Right. When you're walking according to this world, you are what? Dead in your trust yes, and your sin. You're breathing just like the believer, right. but you're dead in trespasses and sin. In other words, you're okay. separated from Yahweh. That's, That's right. right. You're walking dead. The atonement that he paid for you, you have not accepted. No, you have not. Therefore, you're still separated from Yes, you are. Teach it to me. He made an atonement for you. Yeah. And if you don't accept it, you're separated. Yes, you are. Amen. The atonement don't have nothing on for you. Nothing. Because you have not accepted That's it. That's Teach right. it. You have to accept it. You have to accept it. You to get it. Yeah. yeah. First step. If you don't accept it, then you can't get it. No, you cannot. So in most world, Teach most part of the world have not accepted. Teach it so just like it is. We know in that the six thousand year that you sure that the Satan has had to to rebel against Yahweh and cause Yahweh's people to rebel against him is drawing to a close. Yes it is. Yes it is. So it's time to make an atonement. Yes it is. It's time for you to start doing the Hebrew say young kipper. That's keep right. Kippur. That's right. Keep the fast. Mm -hmm. Keep the faith. That's it. Believe the word of Yahweh. Research show 9-11 was an inside job. America sacrifices 